Hello beautiful mamas. Hey, happy Tuesday. And I wanted to share with you some notes and some golden nuggets that I got out of yesterday's training with Carrie Stanley. And she was teaching on grace to be, do, and have it all. And grace, grace is the best version of God's unconditional love. It unifies us, you know, who are we if we didn't think that that was part of our growth? You know, and you didn't have, have any space for receiving. You didn't allow grace to flow to yourself. So in order to, with grace, we got to be able to give that grace to others, but we also need to give it to ourselves and to be able to receive that grace ourselves. Yeah, we didn't do that perfect. Yeah, we messed up on that. Oh, this didn't go right. That didn't go right. Give yourself grace. You're still learning. Everything is a learning process and you're growing and learning. And our, our identity is not defined by our achievements. It's defined by grace and love. And perceived perfection is just an illusion of what we have decided is perfect. And with grace, everything's perfect and imperfect all at the same time. <laughs> Expectation without attachment is an intention. And uh, she also went into this awesome training of, about stretching. And she was talking about, you know, when we stretch uh, for our athletic run or activity, do you remember stretching first? Put that in the comments for me. And I remember when I was much younger and I was in track and I remember when I was a cheerleader, we'd always do these warm-up stretches. And Carrie shared with us something so powerful. She explained how life is a lot like those stretches. We need to stretch and hold in the, you know, in that moment of discomfort and uncomfortable. Um, if we choose to stop the stretching, when it gets uncomfortable, when we start to feel the pain, <laughs> we won't get the full benefits of limbering those muscles and later we'll either get the muscle cramps or we won't be able to perform as good. But when we stretch and it becomes uncomfortable, we just, if we just hold it there and let it be uncomfortable, and let grace flow and let it limber our muscles and later on we'll perform better. And she compared that stretching to our daily lives and it's so powerful. Uh, when we are stretching ourselves out into those uncomfortable situations, getting out of our comfort zone, getting over our limiting beliefs, we will perform better and we will feel more powerful, we'll have more confidence and it'll be worth it. And grace lives there, so allow it to make it better. Grace makes everything better. Outward focus on grace gets to return to you. So by giving grace, the more grace we give, the more grace we receive. And Carrie also shared with us a quote from Brene Brown on shame. Shame is the intensely painful feeling of experiencing or believing that we're flawed and therefore unworthy of love and belonging. And grace is showing kindness to someone even when they don't deserve it. Grace is going out of our way to give compassion, kindness, and love to someone, even if they may not appreciate it or even return in favor, okay? Shame says we're not worthy of love, flawed somehow. But grace says we are loved and worthy no matter what. So you can choose to release that ego and fear and let grace fill you, okay? And decide who you get to be in that you know, in that miracle for that moment and let grace flow, okay? And uh, there were some questions that she gave, so I'm gonna ask you these questions. If you want to write these questions down and when you're journaling, you can ask these questions to yourself and answer them so you get the most benefits out of them. And number one was, what area of my life gets to have more grace, okay? What area of my life gets to have more grace? And that could be yourself, that could be your relationships. Two, number two, who in my life gets to have more grace? And it could be your spouse or significant other or a family member or your child or your children. <laughs> number three, what opens up in my business when I add or give more grace? Okay, number four, what relationships or what relationship gets to transform with more grace? And then five, what freedom do you get to experience by fully embodying grace? Okay, and then she also left us with two questions at the end. Uh, what would greatness look like today in my life? 
And number two, what would grace look like in the world? Okay, so I wanted to share this with you. Brave over perfect equals grace. And I want to add this Bible verse about grace in Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore come boldly under the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So I hope this brought you value today. Make it a beautiful day and be blessed.